Last week, Front Row Motorsports announced they would be expanding their operations from two cars to three cars. Well, we now know who's going to be in one of those three cars, and this is the least surprising of the three. We still don't know the other two, but Todd Gilliland will be in one of those cars with the number to be announced in the future. I don't know if they're going to, I guess they, there's a chance they might change his number, but uh, Todd Gilliland, who's been at Front Row on the Cup Series side of things since 2022, so this is his third season, and he has made improvements every year statistically. So far this year, he's having his best Cup Series season to date. He's led 101 laps, led the most laps in that Atlanta race back in February. Uh, he had only led 11 laps in his Cup Series career entering the season. His average finish has improved by a, almost a whole position, and it could be more if it wasn't for issues that they've had. You know, they could have had a top 15 at Darlington. That Atlanta race, they got caught up in a wreck late. As I said, led a bunch of laps in that one. So Todd Gilliland has improved a lot statistically. He's improved a lot. If you ask me, I've always been high on Todd Gilliland. But uh, let's look at some of these statements or the statement. Front Row Motorsports owner Bob Jenkins on Todd Gilliland's contract extension. We've watched him grow, mature, and show all his potential behind our truck and car. It's now his time to lead us into our next phase of winning races and being a consistent playoff contender. And this is a great opportunity for Todd Gilliland, uh, with Front Row being promoted to a Tier 1 Ford organization, and then also, of course, with them expanding, with them having more numbers, it's going to be a huge opportunity. With Michael McDowell leaving the team at the end of the season, this kind of gives Todd Gilliland an opportunity to be a leader, in a sense, at Front Row since... He's going to be the guy who has the most experience at that team, whether they bring in Cole Custer, Josh Berry, Noah Gregson, whoever it may be. Todd Gilliland will have the most experience there. He'll have the most time there. So it's going to be a really big opportunity for Todd Gilliland to lead this team. And uh, I'm curious to see how he does once front row finally gets, you know, they've, they have that equipment right now. We've seen Michael McDowell show it this year. We've seen Todd Gilliland show it. Uh, McDowell's got a few top 10s. Gilliland only has one, but he's had a lot of top 15s. So this team has taken a big step forward the last year or two, and it looks like they could take another step forward, of course, being elevated uh, in terms of their status with Ford. And once that is more, they're more in, I guess, or once the growing pains, if there are any, if you get what I'm saying, once they break through, I guess, and they are consistently contending, I'm very excited, very curious to see how Todd Gilliland is going to do in the 30-something car. It could be the 38 again. Maybe they just want to be consistent, have the 34, 35, 36. I don't know what front row's plans are for the numbers, but Todd Gilliland has a big opportunity ahead of him. I think he can win races in the future. I think he's, uh, it, this is a great signing. I think it works out for both sides. Obviously for Todd Gilliland, you're at a really good team, a team on the rise in the cup series. And then for front row, you've got a guy that, you know, you, he's shown improvement over the past few years. And this is one of my problems or was one of my problems with the 38 is that they would switch, switch drivers every single year. You know, you went from I think it was David Reagan to Anthony Alfredo to John Hunter Nemechek to eventually where we are now with Todd Gill. And so, um, yeah, as I said, not really shocking news here. Most of us expected that news, but we still have the big question mark that is the other two front row cars. So any other news that happens, I will let you guys know the silly season is in full force, but we're starting to get some answers. We know Todd Gill and staying at front row. We know a lot of free agent drivers are out there with the shutdown of Stuart Haas Racing. We know Stenhouse is staying at JTG, among other things. So thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are on Todd Gilliland staying at Front Row, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.